And so I think a, the, the question to you all, in a way, is what do you see working well and what, what maybe are some potential improvements that we could take back? I think um, the rubber meets the road in state government when policy meets budget. And so it's not accidental that this conversation... Finding efficiencies in the cost of operating the state government is a favorite remedy of many politicians eager to stabilize tax rates while funding popular social programs. A three-member Blue Ribbon Commission made a stop in Manchester at the Community Library on October 11th to hear some ideas from area residents and officials on how to improve the cost and performance of state government, one of four such events they will be holding around the state. The commission was authorized by an act of the state legislature in 2015 and is formally known as the Government Restructuring and Operations Review Commission. It includes John Sales, the CEO of Vermont Food Bank, who is the chairman of the panel, and also Paul Costello, the executive director of the Vermont Council on Rural Development, and Jeff Wilson, Manchester's former town manager and state representative. Costello gave an overview of what the panel's goals were. If you started today, in terms of the functions that you would want to meet in state government, would you set it up the way it is? Probably not. So they wanted to step back and look at, are there points of rationalization, points of efficiency, points of uh, simplification potentially, ways to save resources that could be better used in more efficient ways? So as a commission, we've been looking into everything from lean management to accountability to different agencies and their functions and how they could be more efficient to regional delivery of services to planning and how all those functions work effectively today. We're also interested in whether there are more efficient ways to support agencies in deli delivering their services if there's... The Commission released a report last February which noted that some potential areas worth pursuing included opportunities for public-private partnerships, strategic planning, and management and information technology. Jim Sullivan, the Executive Director of the Bennington County Regional Commission, described some of the issues he has encountered while working with state officials. Folks in the Department of Environmental Conservation and um, you know, they're, they're, they have a wonderful focus on, you know, um, cleaning up the environment and improving uh, public health and all that. It's all, all very good. But, you know, there's, um, you know, there's other objectives. There's economic development objectives and there's um, renewable energy development objectives. And sometimes the, it, it's really hard to get those, those folks who are working at the permitting level to really appreciate the you know, the, the, the kind of the bigger pictures that communities are trying to, to get to. And if I Michael Harrington, the town of Bennington's Economic and Community Development Director, said the multiple layers of state government could also be an impediment to getting results or information quickly back to the local level. I think what we run into in a conversation we've had with AHS is that someone may be placed there um, you know, a, a, in emergency housing situation, mm -hmm. but that person is, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that DCF is notified that there's now a child living in an emergency situation. So there is a system breakdown there that we can place a family in this emergency housing situation, but we're not necessarily contacting uh, child family services to notify them that that's occurring. John Sales, the commission's chairman, described what he felt was the main finding so far. How do we create a culture in state government that's really focused on results and accountability? Um, and, you know, I guess the latest thinking is you do that by working collectively and collaboratively. So how do you, how do you actually break down those barriers and silos and, and get people to talk to each other and think more holistically about the services that they're providing? Every politician I've ever heard has always said that you know, one of the ways they're going to save money and keep the tax rate, you know, go to stable is by finding efficiencies in government. Right. And I, I guess I'm just wondering, do you think that there's really a lot of savings to be had by, let's say, you know, having more collaboration between agencies or, or you know, uh, having common software? I mean, I, I guess I just wondered, is there really like some... Pot of gold here to be saved? Uh, um, my answer to that is no, there's no pot of gold. 
Um, but what's more important than that to me, as the chair of this commission, is to find a way to have more impact for the dollars that we're spending. And we can do that. I mean, there are models out there. We're, we're already 15 years behind business in the way they use networks to create impact. Um, and I, th I really believe that state government can do that. Um, it's gonna take the right leadership. Hopefully we can throw out some ideas that will make sense to people and create a little energy. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever, reporting from Manchester.